What is this strange place? I don't remember how I got here. Some parts of this world are without color, and some parts are visible. But the rest of it is like a void. I can almost detect there's more here. I can't see it, but I can feel it. Almost like I don't have the capacity to see. Just yet. Follow the clues I've left for you. They will lead to the key that will take you out of the wasteland. I speak through words as well as symbols. Through words you will understand with your mind. Through symbols you understand with your heart. The invisible. I'm in a different world now. In this one I can see everything. It feels different. The colors are so vivid. Words symbolize the soul across many belief systems. Carl Jung once said, What use now is his lofty perch and his wide horizon, when his own dear soul is languishing in prison? Lately this is how I've been feeling. Trapped. When there are influences that keep you from hearing your true voice, that is the wasteland. There is a reference in these notes to the wasteland. I remember reading a lecture where Joseph Campbell spoke about the wasteland as a theme in mythology. It was a place where people believed in things they did not really believe and did things that were against their true nature. Could this be what the notes refer to? Thank <laughs> you. 
listen for the voice within. Doors will open. The process of making paint in this world seems to symbolize how ideas become reality. Ideas, or concepts, are captured through the camera, like how the mind captures ideas, and then is represented as a symbol on the picture card. Then the lighter is used to refine the idea, similar to how an idea must be transformed from its purely conceptual state into something that exists in the real world. After painting on that canvas, the painting became real. It became part of the world I could step into. Painting in that passageway reminds me of an essay I once read about creating a new reality. At any moment, we can choose to be passive receivers of reality, or choose to create a reality of our own. When was the last time you remained silent and still enough to hear the voice within? It will guide you to the key. I keep finding these notes that refer to the voice within. If I were to draw from my studies reading Carl Jung, I would say this voice within refers to the soul, the heart, or the unconscious. Jung argued that the unconscious had a profound influence on the lives of individuals. Those who ignored their unconscious ran into frustrations and suffering. Sometimes detours are necessary to move forward. Lately, my life feels like it's been going down the wrong path. It's difficult finding satisfaction with the art I'm making, and the workload is quite grueling too. It feels like I'm stuck on a treadmill that keeps going faster and faster and it becomes harder to keep up. What if all this busyness is just a trap, distracting me from pursuing something better? to the beat of your own drum. Every artist has their own cadence. Follow it. Every artist has their own cadence. <laughs> Pretty much all of my creative efforts have been dictated by someone else. To have my own cadence, where would I even start? 
I've become so used to working with other people's ideas that I have a hard time coming up with my own. Like I just can't see them. To see with new eyes, that's such a tricky thing. Each world yields to the power of its own color. That note indicates what I've started to notice. Each world seems to have its own color theme in the items I pick up, and each world uses a different color of paint. Blue was the primary color for the alley cafe, red for that ornate house, and green for this foggy cliffside. Empty your cup, clear your mind from noise and distractions, and your path will be revealed. Chop down and clear away every tree which does not bear good fruit. Look past distractions and what is not essential, and your path will be revealed. The messages I'm getting from this world seem to be about clearing away obstacles in order to move forward and find a new path. 
I remember a story about a wise man who was pouring tea for an impatient man who had come to visit him because he wanted to know the meaning of life. The wise man kept pouring the tea, while the impatient man kept talking and asking questions, and the tea began to overflow in his cup. The impatient man protested, saying, Stop! Can't you see it's full? And the wise man said, Just so, like this cup, you are full of your own opinions and speculations. How can I teach you unless you first empty your cup? I've always liked this story. To empty yourself so that you may be filled with something new. no path. For where there is a path, there is someone else's footsteps. Create your own path. Dying to old ways of thinking and being creates a path for new life out of the wasteland. The picture card speaks of dying to old ways to find new life. I'm reminded of something Joseph Campbell once said. Only birth can conquer death. Birth not of the old thing again, but of something new. Within the soul there must be recurrence of birth if we are to experience a rich life. I can't say that I've ever gone through a change so dramatic, but it feels like I'm getting close to something like this. Otherwise, why am I being shown all of this? the easier it becomes to hear the voice within. But first, find the key. The notes keep mentioning the key. Keys symbolize power, knowledge, and opportunities. 
New doors can be opened to opportunities that were once locked and reserved to whoever possessed the key. Janus, the Roman god of gates and wisdom, is sometimes portrayed carrying a key. He was the god of beginnings and ends who could grant new opportunities. Where does your greatest passion meet the world's greatest need? This is your vocation and paradise. Vocation as paradise. I once read that the word vocation is rooted in the Latin word for voice. Then perhaps our vocation is not something we simply pursue, but is more of a calling that is heard. It is in listening, not pure willfulness, that our true path is discovered. But how to discern between that voice within and the voices of the wasteland that lead down a false path? closer than you think. Mirrors symbolize a gateway to truth through inner contemplation and reflection which allow us to see truths within ourselves. I saw a mirror in a museum once with the inscription, Be clean and bright and reflect what is in your heart. I think this points to knowing who you are so that you can be who you are. Mend the split between yourself and the true artist. These notes keep mentioning something called the true artist. I wonder if this is similar to something Jung called the self, which is the unconscious part of ourselves where our true nature lies. In different times it went by other names. The Greeks called it the daemon, and the Romans called it the genius within each individual. Jung considered that everyone has a sense of wholeness from birth, but loses it early in life. The goal is to consciously rediscover the self, otherwise we eventually reach an impasse in one way or another. That must be what this is. Now I'm in another world similar to the first, where there is this feeling of a void. But I'm getting the same sense that there may be more to this world that I cannot see just yet. Let the art guide you where it wants to go. Listen. When working with other people's ideas, you don't need to let anything guide you. The plan is mapped out already. To let the art guide you where it wants to go sounds like intuition. I once read that intuition is letting the painting paint itself. That requires a lot of trust in something you can't quite predict or see.
It is not in the arriving at a definite end or some fixed and finite point, but it's in the never-ending search that we discover who we are to be. The true artist is always in a state of becoming. The true artist is always in a state of becoming. This is a profound statement. It sounds like the constant need to reinvent oneself. It reminds me of a proverb I once heard. Running water never grows stale. When tasting the fruit of our true essence, the direction of our lives are forever altered, and our souls cannot find peace and fulfillment until we realize our true purpose. To taste the fruit of our true essence sounds like seeing with new eyes. I've never experienced this, but I've heard it's like waking up to a new reality where everything looks and feels different. Jung called this the process of individuation where the conscious and the unconscious are united in a person, and one is able to live out their true nature. The person becomes whole. Love and courage are at the root of a true creative act. It is not destructive, and is not influenced by any outside pressures, reward, or need to survive. But to create from the love that lies inside is where freedom and truth are found. Your key lies within. Love and courage are at the root of a true creative act. In other words, if we create art simply because we love the act of creating, we are being true to ourselves. We are free from expectations of what comes after, and not dictated by any authority, personal obligations, or survival. And then we know we are on the right path. This idea can apply to everything we do, not just art. Everyone must stand at the crossroads and decide if they will allow their eyes to be opened to the truth of who they are to become, or be molded into a facade of a self created by the wasteland.
The TV is a modern symbol for an idea I once read about called sequestration. At times we voluntarily choose to sequester or isolate ourselves from our own true potential by passively accepting and consuming realities other people give us. If taken too far, this can lead us away from a truer reality we can create for ourselves and cause us to do what is not in our true nature, as Joseph Campbell would say. The Wasteland logo on that TV points to this. This is a tricky symbol at times because consuming other realities can lead to new inspirations and better ideas than we could have come up with on our own. Where before you used to be jagged, now you are elegant and in rhythm with yourself. The true artist lies within you. Go paint your masterpiece. <laughs> 